If you happen to click on this video, I just want to say, I feel your pain. I really do. During my whole life, I suffer from intense period pain. I started taking painkillers when I was in early high school, and if I didn't, I would faint. I had a few close calls during the time I was on public transport. I had to either sit down or lie down with my hot water bag and my brown sugar ginger tea. That's actually how I got through every single period during my high school. And I hated my employers for not providing menstrual leaves. But I also know that if you keep doing the same thing, or in this case, not doing anything, and expect a different result every month, you're insane. So from my almost 20 years of experience dealing with period pain, here are my top five habits to feel better and still achieve your goals when you bleed every month. These five habits are simple, not easy, effective, and they cover both the physical and emotional discomfort. Let's go. First of all, you need to track your cycle. I can't stress how important tracking is. Tracking provides data, and data tells the story. So what exactly do you have to track? How long your period lasts, your symptoms, maybe mood changes, night sweat, whatever, and your flow. They give you valuable information. For example, during day 18 to 20, I feel easily irritated and triggered and very insecure. You know that sound when you pull the chair against the ground and it makes that screechy sound? I can hate that especially during day 18 to 20. But when you notice that, you can start managing all these little things by either resetting your environment, telling your housemate to keep quiet. And from there, you can actually enjoy better relationships because now you can communicate, they understand your needs, and they can provide you emotional support. Happy days. Start tracking today if you haven't already. Number two, regular exercise. As I mentioned before, when I was a teenager, I nearly fainted on public transport during my period. At that time, I was very skinny and I was mostly sedentary. But since I started exercising regularly during uni and I drastically increased my workout input three to four years ago, now my period pain is manageable. I still need to take painkiller during the first day, but it's just under control now. And I contribute this to regular exercise. Regular exercising improves your physical and mental health and it goes a long way, so never neglect that. I actually dealt with hot drinks help with the pain. Maybe it's just suitable effect. that but I'm an Asian and I love my brown sugar ginger tea. Another thing that I have been wondering for years is that should you stop exercising during your period? And research shows that it depends. You can read more about the research and findings here by Dr. Lisa, but that's actually a study that found out that it's mostly a mind game. Your hormone fluctuation didn't really affect your performance level during your workout. It's your perception of how much you could push. And these days I realize sometimes during mid-cycle I would have that unusual fatigue that would hinder my workout performance. But that was the time when my hormones were supposed to be high. So I think it's all in my mind. I can be wrong, but I personally don't take extra rest days. I would just adjust how hard I push during my workout. And I'm not sure if menstrual cycle singing is something that we want to get into, but again, you can find out more here. I will put all the links in the description box as well. I personally am just not a fan of yoga or low intensity exercise, so I don't do that often even during my period. But I think it depends and you have to test it out for yourself. I'm not a professional in that regard and I'm just telling you what worked for me. Number three, on productivity and stress management. I have a pretty high standard when it comes to being productive. So in order to not feel shitty about not being as productive as I would like to be during my period, I push hard during the spring and summer time during my cycle. And this is based on the advice given in the book Period Power. When we feel energetic and everything sunshines and rainbows, of course we can push for more and get more things done. And according to the book, during your autumn and winter time is more for like tuning in for self-reflection stuff. And I took that advice. Now I batch my video production and therapy session planning during spring and summer. So that during autumn, I can just sit down and passively edit some videos or review my session footage or just do more live reflection and I would rest more during winter. But if you don't push hard during spring and summer, you have nothing to do during autumn, right? So there's like a cycle and when you track your cycle, then you know which week that you can push for more. You can plan your week and your tasks accordingly. That will keep you productive all month. Number four, whole food diet. I know, it's simple but not easy. I personally increased the complex carb intake during the week leading to my period, and my personal favorites are Brussels sprouts and broccoli. Complex carb gives you more energy without feeling shitty, so don't binge on that donut or the chips. You want to nourish your body. 
Number five is the mindset shift. You have to understand that rest is part of productivity as well. Because you deserve to rest, you're already bleeding every month, so don't make it too hard on yourself. During your period, get some extra sleep and rest. Maybe have some dark chocolate as well. After all, there is nothing chocolate can't fix. According to Professor Lupin, you'll feel better. Here, eat this. It'll help. It's all right. It's chocolate. And don't forget that self-care is not selfish. You have to put yourself first before you can provide for others. So start implementing these habits to feel better. Period pain is common, but it's not normal. Do something about it now and see what works for you. If you enjoyed this video, also check out this video here in which I talk about the book Period Power that changed my life and my self-care game. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.